A Tops 85 401 production featuring two autograph Hall of Fame baseball cards. What's up, YouTube? Tops 85 401 here. And I picked up a couple of autograph baseball cards of some Hall of Famers, and I just want to talk about those Hall of Famers. But before I get started, kind of the theme of this video, got a couple of Fantastic all Hall of Famers that never got to play in Major League Baseball, but nevertheless are Hall of Famers. First, we got George Mule Suttles right here, and then the great Josh Gibson right there. So those are a couple of fantastic players. And now moving on to the first autograph card I got, and it is the great Ray Dandridge. This is a fantastic example of his autograph. Beautiful on-card auto. But Ray Dandridge played professional baseball for from 1933 to 1953. And he played in the Negro Leagues as well as minor league affiliates for the New York Giants. He was Rookie of the Year in 1949 in the AA league and then he was the 1950 MVP and won a championship and that was with the Minneapolis Millers that's the uniform that Ray is featured in this card and of course Ray Dandridge was a third baseman he could also play second base and shortstop he was very versatile but mostly known as a third baseman he was he hit for a very very high batting average had a fantastic glove, not so much a slugger, but more of a like um, a batting average, more like a Tony Gwynn or a Wade Boggs or something like that, and just a really, really good middle infielder. Hall of Famer, and he was inducted into the Hall of Fame in 1987. Ray Dangers was also a teammate of Willie Mays's when Willie Mays was on his way to the big leagues. And they were both were on the Minneapolis Millers. And Dandridge was kind of like a uh, mentor to Willie Mays. And when Mays was called up to the big leagues, he and Dandridge were actually hanging out watching a movie in a movie theater when Mays was asked to go back to the team to find out that he got the call to go to the New York Giants. So there's Ray Dandridge, fantastic ball player, Hall of Famer, 1987. Then the next ball player we're going to talk about is the great Buck Leonard. This guy was an unbelievable first baseman. And he played his 15-year Negro League career with the Homestead Grays. He was part of those dominant teams from the 30s and 40s. And he was part of the 43 and 44 championship Homestead Grays. Buck Leonard, guys, he was an 11-time All-Star. And in 1934 and 1948 is the years that he played on the Homestead Grays. And then in 1951 through 1953, Buck Leonard played in other leagues that weren't affiliated with the Negro Leagues, like... Um, so I think somewhere in South America. I can't exactly remember what leagues he played in. And uh, he was, Buck Leonard was inducted into the Baseball Hall of Fame in 1972. And in 1999, the Sporting News rated Buck Leonard as the 47th best player within the top greatest players of all time. So what an honor for Buck Leonard to be named as one of the top 100 baseball players of all time and to be number 47 on that list that just goes to show you how great buck leonard was so there's a couple of hall of fame autographs i was able to add into my collection and i'm slowly but surely building a little bit of a negro league pc so those are some fine examples of a few of the cards in that collection these were LCS pickups last night, and when I saw these two cards, the Buck Leonard and Ray Dandridge, in the showcase, they were screaming out to me, and I'm very, very glad I added them into my collection. And I've actually had a lot of fun doing a little bit 
more research on Ray D Dandridge and Buck Leonard because I am by all means not an expert or a historian when it comes to a lot of the greats that played in the Negro Leagues. So guys, thanks a bunch for tuning in. Comment down below and let me know what you think. And as always, until next time, happy collecting!